What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another evening of Yori Stream. I hope everyone is having a, a fantastic evening today already. And uh, let's just hop right into it. Whew. Open world. So, um, plan. We're gonna finish that main mission that we were doing, which should give us like the immunity booster. And then we're just gonna go and fuck around a little bit, see if we can complete some side quests, some other side content. I think mostly for today, until I'm, uh, you know. Okay, game needs to slowly adjust. Bored of it. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I didn't know there was a side quest here. Looking for work? I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's the bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Coriant. They'll fill you in on the details. Okay. Mm -hmm. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. Gonna keep them waiting. It's what I do best. Keep people... Ooh, we already dropped quite a lot of frames here. Well, my PC is having a terrible time at the moment. Uh, let me see what I can uh, close before we continue. Spotify is running six times. Which is running so many times. Google Chrome needs to be running. 74% memory. Ay, ay, ay. No. It wouldn't have changed my settings on their own, right? With on their own, I mean. Oh, I can change the difficulty to lower if I want to. Uh, do, 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 subtitles, GTA holds. Instead of tapping. The HUD. Immunity timer. Video, borderless, monitor zero. Upscaler mode. Quality. Let's go with performance, right? Game to run their full resolution, which burdens the system the most. Wish I knew that. I mean, I probably knew that because I should have. The quality is still set to medium. Yeah. Asynchronous compute. Choose which monitor you would like to use. Render still the same. So you just see only annoying. Every single game does show FPS, right? 
set it to a uh, something, but this game does not allow you to actually set the max FPS. Well, I don't care. This might actually make the game run a bit smoother for me. Says that, then my game freezes a few times. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. Nice guy. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, Yesterday, you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. <laughs> A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. It's a high chance the game is just taking its time to load in. Quest giver. I wonder if I should just pick up the quests. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Mm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. <laughs> Leave your CV with my secretary <laughs> and I'll get back to you. 
sticks coconut sized balls. Mm. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim? Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar in Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. Wonder why there are so many plain accents for a game that takes place in Europe. Plain accents? I don't really think it's plain. I've heard so many different kind of accents so far in this game. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Like plain American. But yeah, I don't think he actually like this guy, for example, is not plain American. Um a few other ones I've spoken to were like especially British. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, Fox! They've already sent one of their. Buckwits? <laughs> Who? That fellow. Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he yeah, but the then there is anyone. Okay, related. They also American. <laughs> I see. That can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Right, thanks. Objective updated. Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney. Barney. Damn it, Barney. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own and throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. Dark, how are you doing, by the way, dudes? I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. 
Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before, in the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring I'm doing good, I'm doing good. I'll do my best. Good luck. Nighttime stories. Exploring the city, you'll come across characters marked with a time thingy. These nighttime story missions are best completed at night after you interact with the character. Hold down to fast forward to night to begin right away. Oh heck yeah, we finally got our shit. I'll kill him. Uh let me have a look if I can actually make a few things. So we can save that uh Wait, what the fuck happened to my armor? Oh, haha. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Uh, crafting. UV shrooms. Okay, that really sucks. This game looks good, better than most of the garbage games of the last few years. The game looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the start, the prologue was really nice looking, as well. Uh, consumables, I don't care about that, I want to upgrade this shit, can't. Do you happen to have... Got a booster? Wait, you actually sell crafting materials. Craft parts. Nope. In store T pose bug. Day. One. Hmm. I guess I'll just go to sleep first. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And this is Lita. You won't regret it. Inventory. We got two boosters right now. Hey, tape. Rolls journal number two. Wait until night. Before the model would just be stiff in a T pose instead of animated. I see. Night has fallen. Your immunity thingy will go down. Okay, let me have a look at the map. Which way do we go? Need to go this way. Why does he always have to be so stubborn? Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall he had. That's about the only time he's mad. Stamina, stamina, eh, eh. Where are my, oh, my current skills on that I have right now? Anyways, we got the higher distance leap. Don't have anything else yet. Map. 
Are we there? Seems to be Forsaken Story. Unruly Brother. In there. Entrance. this oh wait you're still life you guys were still life bunch of assholes I like the immunity bar it gives a sense of urgency I am conflicted about the immunity bar so far I don't hate it but I don't like it either like it's uh It makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable while I'm trying to, like, do things. No, it is bad. Sophie, I'm inside. No sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Item. Finding the crystals. It might already be too late for Barney. Barney, do you hear me? It's too late. Report Ed Tammet. Sophie. Satan. I found a radio and a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Okay, so. Investigate. Find footprints. <clears throat> Survivor sense. Cool. Give me these shrooms. Plumber hammered and that. Uh... Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Careful. Take out. Fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? 
Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Hey, Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. <laughs> Good, stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even kiss Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Great. Oh, we've awakened the beasties! Stamps. Jeez, how many of these fuckers are there? Scrap. Empty. Come on, I need trophies, game. Stop giving me nothing. Ah, haha, a unique one. It's a little bit too high level. Still something. Barney! Okay, that's it. For some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bernie. We gotta find Bernie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Huh. <sighs> I'll look for him. him. He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Oh, did they really just gave me a choice here to do some either one of two things? That's really annoying. I don't like it when the games do that. How much time do we have left? Now we're only halfway through the night.
Awesome. Through the side door. This outside. Ooh, there's another uh, crystal here. Blood must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Oh. One move. Down without a fight. Up. I'm running out of immunity. It's fine. Where the fuck did he go? Lined up. Did he go higher up? Look, can I make some more? Um, just one. <sighs> oh, not this one. Hey, biohazard. Immunity boosters. They go through here. Oh, here he is. Who are you? The maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... Poor kid is fucking dead. Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... Over there. My radio. I have to call someone. Here. But we gotta hurry. Of course. Of course. Can you turn? Gotta... Hello? Mom. You there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney? He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. We got the crystals. We got him. And I <sighs> killed three. 
three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. He's not gonna sure. make it. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan is dead. Barney, you there? Barney? Aiden, are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Yeah. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... wanted to take the crystals but he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away it's not like that come back to the bazaar i'll explain everything well, yeah i'll come back to the bazaar in a bit Because uh, from the looks of it, there might still be loot here. Although I'm kind of wondering, maybe there they just don't disappear. Like the areas that can be looted just regenerate their loot or something over a few days. This pathway down there. There's nothing here. Don't know what that is. Is there a higher floor? Well. to get up. Affected trophy on common, nice. Rare. Oh, lag spike. Huh. Another quest. Where the fuck is my uh, sleep area, buddy? Oh, this is not my safe zone. Peacekeeper territory. Hey, <sighs> well, fuck it.
break his neck. Smack on the back. Firing. What is that? A howler? I want to try something. Nice, we broke the fucker's neck. That's what I like to see. Yeah, goodbye, fuckers. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? We oh, I got some something to hide. You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosey here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckwood Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after you crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. I really don't like him. negotiate you don't negotiate with extortionists you're nothing like your mother besides i'm in charge here prepare your men and we're giving joe those goddamn crystals joe fucking coward i know what you think but we have to listen to him herman as for the bazaar only for the bazaar sophie relax herman he saved Barney, remember? Uh, uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides, but on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill. 
to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader. But a, but shitty, a shitty mom. mom. What are you going to do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. And they're going to keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set up for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. But level went up. Nice. Molotov, scrap hammer. The arrival. <laughs> nice. Perfect parry. Ooh. Powerful tech. I don't really know what I want to choose, though. I guess we're just going for the stealth lunge kick thing. Seems like a good idea. Why is there still an uh, icon for something new? I don't know. Binoculars, bottles, bricks, cancelled throw. Hello, sushi! How are you doing, dude? Merchants, investigating. 
Weapon modifications. Heck yeah, fam. Need more uncommon trophies. Also, I need that immunity booster to literally skyrocket. I'm sleepy and stinky. Stinky. Stinky sushi. <laughs> Sorry. Miscellaneous jank and the weenie ween wink. Look at all that money. What time is it? It's almost daytime. Actually, have a look on the map where I need to go. This way, on the complete other side. Ay 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 ay, sush. I cleaned up the entire. Uh, Corona, Hornet, Highlands, Corona Highlands. Sure, Jordy. Aiden, something's up. Susie, you there? Susie, we're under attack. What? Susie, what's what? going on? It was a trap. Run. Fuck. Susie, run. Aiden, hurry. They've got all the crystals. Everything we have. No worry, I'm gonna kill them. I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I'm dead. survivors fucking animals find the crystals susie had them
bracelets, zombies. Throwing spear. Susie had him. Find Susie. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? How superhuman are you in this? Are you fancy prowers? Not that fancy prowers, no. Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? But we're still early on in the game. We can do so, very high. Susie. She's dead. There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Grenades! Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck! What? The goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Why is this a fucking dark zone? This is in the middle of... Okay, uh, give me a sec. Do I have materials for Molotovs? Heck fucking yes we do. Inventory. Why am I stuck? Oh, there are bodies on the floor. Or zombies on the floor, I should say. How much damage have you taken, bro? Not that much. Crap. Sophie. Everything's been taken. Probably took her before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. Alright. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp up the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. I wanna try and kill the big guy. How's it going? You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mentioned something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? 
I took Carl hostage. Ah, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center. Oh shit, he can hit me? Ooh. Um Damage is not too bad on him, though. Is the thing. Just need to be a little bit more agile. Hey, buddy, did that do anything to you? Actually cocked his ass, nice. Oh, that's what I like to see. That's what it's all about. Okay, I did say that we were gonna do side quests, but I don't feel like doing side quests. The main story is getting too interesting. We'll do side quests after. <laughs> Why the fuck are the howlers still here, though? It's not night. Oh, here he is. Can't even hit him. Hey, how you hey, doing? Bobo. I'm okay. How are you? Oh, this is just a bug. He's not supposed to be here. Oh, I did need to go that way. F. Well. Why aren't you playing Shifu? Shifu? Because I don't know what Shifu is. Just got home. I'm so hungry. You're angry and hungry, or horny and angry. Always horny, no need to mention that. <laughs> Good. What's the difference between Master Duel and Legacy of the Duelist? Master Duel is pure competitive prowess, and Legacy of the Duelist is not updated.
<clears throat> Master Duel is pretty much uh, like Duel Links, but then the actual card game. And... Uh... Legacy of the Duel list is pretty old. It doesn't have the new sets, so to say. Sophie. Hey, why weren't you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. I think would have fucked all those guys up. Oh yeah, sure, we wake up in the hospital. Flashbacks. But, uh, Sush, it's pretty, uh... Master Duel is pretty chill when it comes to earning cash for cards. The end, like, earning points to make cards. You just really need to go for a high-tier meta deck at the early game so that you can at least, um... Uh, join in on the meta so that you can earn more gems after that you can pretty much make whatever you want it just takes more time unless you want to throw in them dollar dollar bills Yeah, I will tell you when, like, the free moments and that kind of stuff be uh, become available. Because currently there's only ranked. I had a feeling Crawl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. He, in fact, it broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade. Posted in the Discord bubble. I can't watch this right now anyways. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. Of world from Sekiro, lol. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. Hmm. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time, something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought Pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. <laughs> for the city one day. with Bertie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. 
I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. You want old. to be Lu Bu? <laughs> He's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. Saving your life after paying my mom's rent. Damn, son. Are you just gonna stand there, or will you? <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. We're gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie, I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You Damn, Sush. And I take care of Do you need to buy your own uh, food from that still? Water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar, and for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. I don't know what to think about these guys, any of these guys, honestly. They all just give little shits about people and only about themselves. GRE Anomaly. Huh. Interesting. Alars. Make that thick.
Don't know what that fire is. Yeah, it's getting light slowly. Like Sophie's not here. I better look for her. Must be looking for something, but I got what you need. Objective completed. You who. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? said she had important business to attend to but you can wait here with us if you came to find out if i have a boyfriend i don't i don't which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me because you don't if you think i was interested in whether you have a boyfriend i wasn't which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances i'll change my mind too fine what brings you Did you take care of barney today that guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Mumbai's shopping and shit. Ah, okay. Well, that's something at least. Herman, it's better Can't speak anymore. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. Uh, she He's crazy. Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more! Gone every One month. More thing. Something's wrong with uh, uh, Not working with the. Uh, it's broken! That. Uh, uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio? Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo, why? What do you... Poor guy's brain is completely messed up. Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? It's not very it's not interesting. That exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now, is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! <laughs> to find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. My best friend. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. <coughs> thing is, I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan. I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your help! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I've been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. 
to the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker Brave. we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There, on the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Sophie moved effing quick. What rooftop? Peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Bandit camps. Woohoo! Something new. Approach a bandit camp and use your binocular to identify the entry points. Locate the camp leader and identify potential environmental opportunities. Take over bandit camp, you need to kill the camp leader and his lieutenants and claim the camp flag tower. You establish a safe zone. Hmm. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one is suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Am I gonna charge in front? Just like that? That sounds like fucking great. Gonna go completely and utterly wrong. Military airdrop. Oh. No. Well, they say it's do or don't. Change of plans, Aiden. Stealth here. Hiding spots, low visibility, use the environment to distract your enemies, coins, bottles, and bricks, make noise to draw their attention, sneak and take out. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can.
Bingo. So far, so good. Stealthy approach, boys. Why do we have to kick everything open like that? Trying to stealth here, guys. Okay, he's coming down, that's good. Shit, where is he? Can't see him anymore, it's fucking annoying. Someone over there. Okay. Kill this fucker first. This guy. Where is that fucker? Not here. Ooh, stealth boys! Okay, gotta wait. What the fuck am I doing here? Well, come down. I'll knock you down a peg. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, good. Let's have a look around. Oh. Oh, sure. Let's go down.
I know there's supposed to be another guy here. Ah, uh, there he is. Anything? Yeah. Oh. Those are guy our guys, apparently. Empty. Don't like that. Stop hiding the loot from me, game. Take a whiz, buddy. Bully sweatpants. Bracelet. I want to get in. Oh, I know how to get in there. I think we're safe here. For the time being, at least. Locked from the inside. Annoying. Medium lockpick. Jewel array. This one is already open. Bunch of garbage throw knives. Okay. okay. This section is clean. Run for it, Jordy. Screw these guys. Oh. 
You're done. Am I though? I really feel like I'm done. They actually coming after me? Hmm. Sort of. This plague is all but it's all fucked up. You three I can handle. Crap. Timing sucks though. Still coming after me? You can see their HP is super annoying. Job zombie, that's what I want to see. Oh, another one. Yadi yadi does he? Well, that didn't go as planned. Fighter mitts, neck gator. <laughs> but it was fun. Sort of. Kill a few goons. Okay, let me uh, craft some healing items. I've only got so little. Hey, we are level 2 now. That's something. Now at least open. Peep Sahu. I don't know what a Peep Sahu is, but it sounds dirty. It's a dream eater. Okay. Oh. 
Must have cleaned out this entire site here. Aspro fin and go in here. Mm -hmm. There's still a few guys walking around. Let's see. Bandit Lieutenant. Anything else? One guy standing there, one guy standing right there. I think he can see me at least. Alcohol runs. Spirit of Great Axe. As lieutenant, look how fucking bulky he is. Get up there and kill that motherfucker. Is that the guy at the bridge? That guy, now I can go. What are you doing, Aiden? What the fuck ever? Whew! Careful, 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 careful. Tired of just standing here. Okay, this is the atrocious. See, did anyone go for that? You did.
anyone respond to that? You don't see me. You actually did see me. Uh, my lights are still on. Oh. <laughs> Look at his head. That's crap. Yeah, I know when I can grab him now. When the other guy moves, I can grab this guy. Hand fucking turns. Shouldn't be looking this way, right? They already lose me? Yeah. Cool. Spinning their heads like it's nobody's fucking business. Okay, careful, careful. Just need to wait for that guy to go that way so they can kill him. Okay, that's all you want to see. Dumbasses don't see the corpses though, which is kind of silly. Anybody ever see that? Oh, now they do. Well, yeah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, these animations. They really kind of move like buttholes, don't they? Okay, move. Oh, 
I'm just behind this pillar, guys. Just waiting right here. I want to see if I can actually, like... Attack them from behind. Oh, this is bad. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. Okay, you I can't. Oh, fuck! Run, Yordi, run! There you call me a motherfucker. Have a mano or mano, anyways, to lieutenant. Well, now you're dead. Okay, so lieutenant, I cannot grab from behind. Sad face. That would have been fucking hilarious. Let's see if there's anything in the environment that I can use. Destroy this butthole of his. Or something on top of this building, right? Yeah, military airdrop thingy. Entering a restricted area. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tape. Golden coins. Rags, rags, rags. Dangerous area. Why? Hmm. Good question. Oh shit! Build my jump. Almost night.
YOLO. MRE rations. GRE access key. Military airdrop. Military tech. How do we get down? Ooh. Does this one come down? Looks like it does. Oh! Bitch! <laughs> okay, all that's left is the big boy. How do we deal with him? Hmm, that's another way to get up there, apparently. Okay, Mr. Uh, whatever your name is. Boom! I think I need to dodge that. Oh, nice! I smacked him right into that! Fucking asshole, hey, SQ. Nurse shirt. Unique chest plate. No, back up, back up, back up. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. All loot in the bandit camp will disappear. Yeah, we're gonna fix that first. First, grab all the loot. Skew, what you been up to today? Okay, one more room. Nice. Give me all that shit. Molotovs. Knives, other things. Arrows, I don't have a bow yet though. Which feels kind of lame. Anything else? No, nope, got everything. That's just a break. Today, I ate a lot of chicken. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. That one is better. Mm. 
That is better. Come back again. Bravo, Pilgrim. The Greenwood family. Any time of day. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. But Jordy has a wiener wiener chicken wiener. Sophie, I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? So, Sophie, are you there? You have to help the maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the renegades. Remnants of the old army, stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. I'm glad you showed up. Time to head to Tango Motel, guys. Gotta be careful, it's gonna start being night soon. You see. I think I've been there before. Yeah, I've been there before. I know exactly where that is. Fallen immunity. Still don't know where that container is. Now I can go in there, though. I think, right? Yeah, I couldn't go in here before. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. Go to Aitor, go meet Sophie. I don't really know. Oh, this is choice. That's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be I in touch. We all know Yordi was gonna do this. Hammer. Of course, I'm gonna lose everything.
hunger. Okay, what is higher up? Inhibitor. Wrong way! Crap. Being too aggressive. already opened all these paths, so funny. Sophie! What the hell is going on? Report in! <sighs> these are back down again. I opened them up last time. That is funny to know. That's a lot of dead people. Of course we're taking the biohazard shit. Inhibitors! We can upgrade one of her stats! Stamina. Everyone and everything is fucked up. There has to be another way to get in. There's so much loot in here. I want it. I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Okay, let's just go. Aiden, your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Help Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? Good morning. Barty, wait! <laughs> How you like me now, jackass? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Burn, motherfucker, burn. Anything interesting in here? I can pick these up and throw them at them. Throw all the shit. The fuck's down here? Is that gonna be one of my escape routes? Do I have to escape? Brick. Oh, didn't even notice the plants. Poppy flowers. Moto, moto, scarada. As Q says, aggressive Yordimon needs to chillax. But I am chill and lax. Very chillax. <laughs> I'll go grab it in a bit, says Q. Give me a sec. I need a font of it, I don't have any. Hermon, I don't want to fight you. Oh shit, spin attack. Order back jersey. Wow, you actually hit the fucking uh, electricity fence. <laughs> fucking dumb. I thought that was gonna be my uh, way out, but it didn't look well, very well, apparently.
I call him you, my buddy, are an angel in disguise. Barney, kid. Find Barney. Barney? Come out. Come on, man. I will find you. Hey, if you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn, so... You'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? Ator promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water, and I'll take you to the central loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. But do you really believe that I'd just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? I'll help. I Fine. Let's play. I trust them more, even though the brother is a dick. Jack, they have it a lot harder. A chance to take the tower and finally reclaim the water. Before fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and getting you to the center immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. How do I get up the tower? It's almost impossible without a winch, and Joe's men sealed off access. That's why I'm asking you. So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. We won't forget this. I still can't loot this shit. Let me loot. Hermon's bludgeoner. Get to the water tower. Yordi wants loot. Yordi wants loot. Yordi, Yordi, wanty, looty, tooty, tooty, toots. Okay, where is the water tower? All the way over here? Jesus fucking Christ. Well, what's the worst that can happen? Okay, this door doesn't open. Oh, there's something behind it. Didn't even realize that. Okay.
way too many. Chase start it. Uh oh. Looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Sophie says once I help them get the water back, she'll show me another passage to the central loop. Sounds good. She grew up here. She knows every inch of this place. Better than most taxi drivers. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run up like that. It's <laughs> taller than I thought. Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mined. Try to disarm the charges. Jewelry. to get up, I guess, right? Ooh, a what? Container. I guess I need to go higher up. Doesn't look like it can go even higher up, right? Jack, I'm warning you. blow this place to fucking schmitterines. Hey, you got another upgrade. <sighs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. That did not just happen. They're gonna blow it up. Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The 
power is mined. Try to disarm the charges. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. That was uh, awkward. Quest failed. Oh. <laughs> okay. Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mined. Try to disarm the charges. Really disarmed all the charges. Oh. Apparently not. Oh, did I not? <laughs> ASAP! I need to do the one downstairs as well, over again. Uh, where was the entrance? <sighs> Fuck my life. Oh, here. Every single time that I die, I need to start opening the detonation again. Getting rid of it. How are you doing today, Sep? And the water is safe. It's glad to hear that you're doing well, Bo Bobo. Sep. Nighttime bonus. Did I just. Something went wrong, and Jordi's gonna die again. Okay, no, we're fine. Picked up this chest. Ooh, you, 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 you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. 
They did not just... They Why they did I fall down? Not cool. Not cool, bro. Okay, again, don't instantly drop off the fucking cliff. And we got this shit again. Why the fuck? What is this? Tic Tac. Hmm, looks dope. Yeah, it's not usually it's not this bad. Hey, hey, fuck's sake. Made it after all. It usually isn't really that bad. It's just this time that it fucking sucks. Hey, bitches. Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear! I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe. Hey. Isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. 
been setting a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well now, look at the saint. The pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool. Do it, Jack. Now. Goodbye, Bazaar. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? You... you did this? You pay for that. <sighs> Take us all up. Shit. We'll hang you from the town. I'm dead. <laughs> respawn. Where do I respawn? Oh, here. Okay, that was a charge attack. Never killed a pilgrim before. Never killed a pilgrim before. Want some water? I'll drown you in it. Die, pilgrim. I should probably wait until I need the HP, then throw a Molotov. They burn nicely. Yordi, Yordi everywhere. Eight ball. Is Yordi really a pervert? Yes. Get the water flowing. Hmm, medicine. A lovely. Tape. Uh, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? City alignment. When you assign facilities to peacekeepers or survivors, they start controlling the zone around it. When a factor takes over a zone, it introduces its structure. structures. Peacekeepers start installing combat focus traps, while survivors build parkour helpers that, will, that make traverse easier. The more facilities you assign to a faction, the stronger it gets. So install even better structures. The current state of city alignment can be accessed through the map menu. Okay. Uh, no, we don't want to... 
I don't like the idea of the peacekeepers uh, being in control, honestly. So we're giving um, shit to the others. Finally got a breather at work. Nice. I really don't care for the fucking peacekeepers. Like I get I get their idea and ideology and shit, but I don't get the the no. Nah. At least horseshoe is now part of us. City alignment, this is the central loop. Oh, I didn't realize this was survivor territory. The Renegades territory. Mm, current state of the city zones, both neutral and those controlled by peacekeepers or survivors. Here you can find various city rewards you receive for assigning zones to factions. To assign a zone, find the facility. Water tower or electrical station, activate it and assign it to the faction you want to support. I guess this is a, hey, play through the game twice kind of thing. Isn't it? <clears throat> a peacekeeper and a... Generation boost. I'm not good with games where I need to make choices. Remote C6, C4. Gang leader, rare weapon charm. And discover the rewards. Hack on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. Good seeing you. Ah. <sighs> It's in here. It's closed. We got a bunch of shies at the cell. This, you know, this pilgrim to be declared as. This can go. I still don't know if we can actually repair weapons. Yeah, who cares? Unique glove. This one can go. That's fine. 
Get rid of that one. This one. Now I can finally go get a drink. Just like SQ told me to do. 33 minutes ago. Endurance, fire arrows, mold grip. I can make the uh, can buy this one. How much cash do I have? Five k. Can at least buy some things. Uh, no, don't got enough for upgrades. Sad. Okay. Uh. Drinking, drinking, Gordon needs to hydrate, take his medication. There's so much to do in this game. What time is it? It's almost nine. Jesus Christ. I haven't even thought about that. I really want to, like, be able to... ...break them in one way or another. This mental shit, you know? I kind of don't understand why that's not a possibility. Okay, I'm heading off. Have fun with the zoom zooms. Bobo, you have a fantastic rest of your evening, my dude. It's just blue. Flareal Ninja is not coming to play. Ah. <sighs> 
Let's see if we can sell anything else to this guy here. No ninja today. KK. Thanks, man. Yeah, let me go and drop my shit. Drop, 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 drop. I'm doing okay, and I'm enjoying the game fairly well, honestly. Let me use this one. The rest can go... Okay, sure, you just throw them on the floor like that, Jordi. You know, this used to be a bell tower in the Middle Ages. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for rain. Is there anything in here? Where am I right now? This is a dark zone. Okay, we'll come back here another time. Aiden, I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. That's fine. Can I uh, use the stairs? Yeah? Oh, hi. Fucking asswipe. A lot more what? Substack? Compared to the first game, huh? Sneak pathing for on the deaths. If this also have the Excalibur sword. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like it yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. Substats. You think? I mean, not that I know. Did I already open this? <clears throat> Ooh, just gotta open it again. I'm not picking up shitty weapons when I don't have to. Investigate. Oh, this place is a pigsty. Hmm. 
ain't no proof. Here's something. human skin. Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, True. God. Get the hell out of there. We still ain't Doran. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try, but that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Torch. Oh, I forgot I also don't have any. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm dead. Don't got anything to uh, like uh, kick his ass with. Ass with. Something. Wait, what? Do I have materials for Molotovs? Two. Turn your back on us, will you? Come on! No one will miss one. You're done too. I'm doing you a favor, asshole. Give the water to the PK dogs, huh? Was your friend now, Phil? Didn't give the water to the PK dogs. I give you guys the water. The fact that he's standing in there just makes him fucking easy. Ow, oh, oops. about Aiden I found the proof hidden among your things proof uh, of what you cut the tattoo from commander Lucas's arm after his death or when he was still alive you're out of your mind I didn't do it maybe you didn't but your crazy brother Barney's not a psycho we have nothing to do with Lucas's death I'm going to aid her I've got the proof he's looking for Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. It doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. 
And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. <laughs> that seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. <laughs> Look at him walking away like that. There's so much loot everywhere. It does seem to respawn though. Which all in all is kind of weird. Lavender. Wouldn't it be hilarious if Io, the uh, the guy, was the one that planted this shit? And was actually the killer? That would have been fucking hilarious. Open this now? No? Sad. I hate it when there's loot somewhere and I can't get to it. <laughs> Still one of the PK corpses here. something I can loot, right? There, honey, flower. This is locked again as well. Fucking hilarious. Vest. Wow. 
Bomber's hammer. Wiring. Okay, I think it's about time we go clear some side quests. Seems like a good one. Okay, journal. <clears throat> Missing persons. Damien told me about a place to go. Sketchy at best. While looking for a job. So the sisters came down. Who? Okay, let's go look for who be. Well, the sisters. Wait, did I activate the quest now or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah now I do. Okay, we gotta go all the way that way. Hmm. What is this? You ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up. Quest updated. They brought me bacon wrapped hot dog with cheese in the middle. Nice. Okay, so convoy. Valuables and other thingies. Love the sight of that. Things blowing up like it's nobody's business. Well, here goes nothing. I'm a pervert! That's good, Lizzie. That was yummy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. I need to round these guys around a little bit more. Just throw one of the Molotovs. When you put holes. Boom! Right in the fucking face. lack too much power with my combat. Let's get through all these motherfuckers.
be nice if they actually gave me something I could use. Yes, Mr. Simon Wiener. God damn it. Damn. You guys stop coming at me already. Let me have a look at my skills. Maybe I can find something to, uh... Sure, let's go with this. I don't fucking care at this point. <sighs> Damage isn't even that much more. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, we done? Fuck's sake. No, we don't want to eat. Fuck, fix it up. That. I guess I need to open the lockpicks. I swear, if they respawn, like with the other one, I'm so pissed. Okay, don't seem to respawn at least. It's Monday! Why are you yelling at Jordi if that is even your... Okay. Listen here. Lady. So these convoys are all just... They just respawn over time. That's... F I don't know what to think about that, actually. Even if you, like, loot everything on them, they're just gonna respawn. At least I think so. There's one gigantic old dog. Okay, something just randomly exploded. Oh look, everything randomly respawned. What hurts, Lizzie? Your butt. Uh, let me see. Can I craft? No, I don't be able to craft Molotovs. Sad. For this is the news of the last <laughs> Ooh, wait, what? Okay, I'm going further away. Everybody else 
This weapon is absolute trash. I hate it. Also, the healing in this game is trash. If I can kick them into the spikes, then they die instantly. Why can I not see their HP? Because Jordi, you set HP for people off. We need that on. Guys are assholes. You really should wander out on your own. Uh, you're welcome. Is that just it? Didn't even get anything from it. Sad face. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you, Lizzie. Yes, in here. Survivor rescued. That is only during the night. Can I not enter this unless it's after beating the anomaly? 
Yep. Fuck. <sighs> yeah, yeah. It's almost night, though. Could wait it out. Don't know how scary these things are to fight. Well, there's legit the safe point right next to us, or the safe zone. I seems like a plan. Let's go take that thing out. I'd rather not ask if she knows. You want? You know me? Yeah. I was hoping I'd bump into you. Actually, let me introduce myself. I'm Rahim. I run Sparker, the first post-apocalyptic dating service. First post-apocalyptic dating service. How does it work? Dating service? I could use a little something-something, if you know what I mean. Now tell me. Oh, I'll gladly explain. Get you up to speed? Okay, I'll admit it. I made you a card already. Whoa. What? I created a profile for you. A uh, profile on, on a card. What on earth for? Well, it's my job. The world may have ended and most of our loved ones have turned into bloodthirsty monsters roaming the streets, but uh, that doesn't mean people have stopped being lonely. I mean, shit. That's exactly why they're lonely these days. So, well, let me get this straight. Your cards help people meet. Basically, yes. People who want to meet other people come see me. I draw them. I'm pretty good at that. Or at least, that's what I'm told. Then, I put their portrait on a card and display it on my dating board. If someone's interested, they get in touch with me and... Voila! Romance is born! Not always for very long, but... Uh, I guess that's something that hasn't changed. But right now, I'm in deep shit, and I desperately need help. Of course you do. Some shithead trying to imitate me forged several Sparker cards. They scattered them around town. That's infringement. It's ruining my reputation and disorienting my customers. I need someone to collect these fake cards for me <laughs> and bring them back. I heard that talentless hack was killed in a dark zone, so he won't be bothering me again. And I managed to find most of the fake cards. But there are two left I couldn't get hold of. Bring them to me, and I'll give you the card I've made for you. Check the map on the wall. I've marked possible locations for the fake cards. A friend of mine. He learned on the job, but he makes a decent dough. Okay. Matchmaker. <laughs> but these are all in dark zones, I guess. Well, this one is not necessarily in a dark zone. This is missing persons. We technically just cleaned this place up completely. Now, let's first go see if I can, like, uh, kick that... Uh, things ass. If I can uh, Watch yourself, you hear? take a nap somewhere. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing so close to a uh, camp, mate? People just turn on the spot or something. Container I know you detected a container. That's why we're here, waiting for night to begin. Yeah, butthole. 
Wait, where's my sleep place? Would you get out of here, please? So that I can discuss <laughs> you just tell me to get out of here? Rude. You some kind of freak? Go away. Is there even from a place for me to sleep here? Doesn't really look like it. We just gonna stand here. Sad. Well, it's almost night anyway, so we're just gonna go and sit and wait, I guess. After that, we can go into this uh, baloney shiza here to check for the matchmaker cards. And this place is practically cleaned up, so uh, I don't care. There's another one here. Four inhibitors. This is only two. Sad. <clears throat> Can I not... Uh, I need 300 stamina to get up there. I'm level four. Okay. I need to pee pee. BRB. The eyes falling down. I need to pee pee. Uh, is it night yet? Not yet. We're getting close to it. Christ's sake, get out of my face. Why are you guys so mad? Why you guys gotta be so mad? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Princess in the tower. Oh, they actually buried someone here. How the fuck did they bury someone on the roof? Well, now it starts looking interesting. Corpses start looking nasty. Night has fallen, I know. GRE anomaly. I don't see it yet though. Oh, there it is. To face the revenant, you need to enter the GRE or location at night. 
infected that corrupts the area and re reanimates the dead. Oh, oh, oh. Grab the spear, dummy. Spares for me. more explosives. I'll pick it up. gonna lie, this is kind of cool. Other sister be like, I'm gonna bring you to Mala. the idea of phase three. Piss off you flying cocksuckers. in a remnant smartphone nani still being attacked bitch oh no it's the wrong item hmm. useless used to it But Lizzie, food is good, right? You should accept the food. Until you pop! <laughs> Old world manual, wiring...
Wasn't that hard, was it? Uh, it was actually kind of hard. Not gonna lie. New gloves better than the ones that I have. No. Just grateful because I helped them order stuff. Well, that's good. So glad Lizzie is being a nice person. Okay, we're going the hell of fucky out of here. And to find a place. Oh, you guys are thieves. Great. Nice to meet you, thieves. I am Yordi. I run very fast. Uh, oh shit, we already passed it. Oh, hi zombies. Are you kidding? Oh, I suddenly took way too much damage. What a bunch of cuckolds. Where am I? Not close to that spot. These fuckers aren't here anymore. Entryway here. Infected defeated. I did not defeat any infected, mate. You guys die pretty quickly. How do people not know how to shop online? Maybe I should ask how old are they? So that it makes sense to me why they cannot shop online. Card. I know exactly who's looking for this. Motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. 
then kill this motherfucker. So there is something downstairs. I don't want to go downstairs yet, there's still more on this floor. About WhatsApp, what did you have a nightmare about, my buddy? I was dreaming about being bit by a zombie. I didn't care about it. Sep bit by a zombie. Did you uh, bite it back? So that's what you're supposed to do. A zombie bites you, you bite it back. Got it. Now it's like shoo shoo. I have better things to do. Another hard lock pick. Not something that I can open though. Oh, I never opened these either. After kicking those on the asses. Cigarettes. Already running out of time, super annoying. Watch. Nice crystal. Is this just the entrance? Or the other entrance? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, that means everything is cleaned up here. And Yordi is getting the heck out of here. Ooh, this one actually dropped something. Heck yeah, uncommon infected trophy. I 
to get that way. I bro. You just sell garbage. What's that supposed to mean, mate? Mm hmm Shoo shoo zombie. Shoo shoo. I wish I could do that to these zombies in here. Just shoo them. button <laughs> need to patch myself up by eh? I need more of these trophies See if I can kill this guy. Yeah, that will give me a trophy for sure. This one is even unique. Don't need those yet, but I do need those later. Oh, I wonder when I'm gonna get my uh, quicker murder uh, things. What the fuck is this? Hey guys. Haven't seen my kids in How you guys doing? This ridiculous blockade at the center. Find the fake poster here. Aha. Now I can get my own Sparker card. Objective updated. I'm gonna go fetch myself a cheesecake. Can you fetch me a cheesecake as well, Sap? Sounds fucking great, man. Uh, 
Okay, map. We also got a quest here. Fight for water. Let's go deliver this one first. Let's go finish the ones that I have first and then continue onward. Oh. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be nice? Monk. A monk. Fuck that shit. Uh, where was I heading again? Oh, I'm already past it. Jesus Christ. Sometimes it feels like the map is way bigger than that it actually is. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Good seeing you. Right, I found your fake cards. Now let me see what you made me look like. Like the prince you are. Here's your Sparker card. Check it out. Come back here later, if you want to meet the people that liked your Sparker profile. Okay, side quest completed. Aiden's dating card. Artifact collection. Uh, are we doing missing persons? Now let's go after uh, Yugi first. Burn, bitch, burn! Okay, um... You're welcome, buddy. Oh, you responded slow. Some of these people really shouldn't be... Uh... It's probably a good thing. You have the central part ahead of you, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to the central part yet. Not for a while. I'm gonna go explore. A little bit, clean some stuff up. Zip line, we when the fuck did I fight bandits?
Is this zombie burning while he's inside? <laughs> it's not weird at all. All the goodies. Zombies downstairs. How about upstairs? Upstairs as well. Look at this guy ragdolling like an idiot. Hmm. This place looks familiar. Have I been here before? Actually, everything looks kind of the same in this city. Cleaning supplies. Raisin. Making sick cash though. I haven't even sold the shit from the previous two missions. Oh heck yeah, I knew that I've been here before. <laughs> I found this place earlier, and I was like, why can't I not open this shithole? Hello? Get out! I'm warning you! Get out of my house! How'd you find my secret entrance? You call that a secret? It was supposed to be! You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything! The Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is? Oh, he told me to say sayonara. Does that help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. I bet. You see that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. Do you need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. If he finds out I botched the job, I'm done around here. What should, should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger. There was a military installation here, set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Supplies! supplies. Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, boots, whatever. whatever. Huh. No wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here, take these bangers and give it a try, will you? a big score for all of us but I'm out of the running now literally so this is a military base yeah they sprang up all over the city at the start of the outbreak the base has a military side and a civilian side the military side is a good stuff the civilian side probably has more infected than loot look for the military entrance and you can't go wrong once you're inside be careful Getting to the storage area won't be easy. The setup usually includes generators. Find them to fire up their UV lights. <laughs> That'll help against the biters that'll be camping out there. What happened to your leg? 
Got jumped by bandits as I approached the site. Barely managed to get away. If you don't do this, Dodger will kill me. Why do you work for Dodger? You need to ask. Same reason as you. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. Dodger tips me off where I might find valuables and I go there. If I find some good stuff, I take a cut. A tiny one. A sliver. You know what vultures guys like Dodger are. Barely enough to live on, but... Better than nothing, I guess. The worst is when Dodger gives me a bum lady. Then I get fuck all. That's happened more than once. No skin off Dodger's nose, though. He's got plenty of guys like me working for him. Got it. I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. But I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Uh, thanks for the tip. Can you stop staring like that? I know what I look like. Ah, now I can open this shithole. Place looks nice. That one went flat on his ass. You don't have to scream, mate. Bum button again. Infect the trophy. Why the fuck was this place locked? There's nothing here. Just a bunch of bullshit. Bullshit, Yordi. Haha. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so funny. Yeah, I'm running out of weapons. That's not too great. Let's see what else. Uh... Uh, this is the lowest floor, right? Yep. <laughs> Would be nice if Mr. Scaredy Pants let me uh, sleep here for the night. Okay, that way. What is the closest by hideout that we have? I still need to unlock this one. 
Might as well do that right now, right? I don't know what the point is by sitting by the campfire. At least now I can get the fuck up there. Going. There are so many zombies in this game, yet killing a bunch of them doesn't make a dent in the waves that are out there. It's so funny. Even in movies and such. I mean, there are only so many humans on the planet, right? But what the hell do I know? I want to open this safe zone for a while now. Couldn't figure out how to get up here. <laughs> okay. Got three. I'll make four of these. Yeah, they are, like, respawning. <laughs> yep. Okay, that one is over here. How many peeps could live in that big of a city? Yeah. Hundreds of thousands. But, I mean, look at how easily we kill, like, a few of them, right? <laughs> Hundreds of thousands don't last that long. Just look at Dynasty Warriors. Kill hundreds and thousands out there. <clears throat> Get him, Yordi. Working on it. Yes, mistress. I'm, I'm a pervert. pervert. I'm a pervert. Military med kits. Immunity boosters. Very chill. I know, guys. It, like, when Yordi starts talking about this kind of stuff, don't ever ever take me serious, because there's just no point. 
Think you're already serious? What's the point? There are quite a lot of them here still though. What is my best way of entry? Just use the broken shovel since, you know. He's got said they're not actually trying to get up here, right? Seeing if there's another way to enter. This looked for a second as another way of entry. When Yordi strives to sound like his audio clip. Dolling! Boy, tanker. Oh, shit. Need some uh, UV sports. It's a kind of magic. Wait, are there people inside? How are you holding up? I'll be fine. How about you? Who are you? Uh, you guys need help? We'll be fine. Thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey, hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then part of a wall collapsed on Jonas and our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah, I gotta make good on a promise. Here, if you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. Not that way, at least. Well, thanks. You hear those noises downstairs? That way. Look, Pix. Yeah. Come on, jump down, Aiden. Oh yeah, at least they fixed the UV lights. That's something. Owlers. 
for reals. What else? Nothing yet. But a bunch of howlers, definitely bad. Gotta make sure I'm not spotted though. Careful. Obviously, we're taking this motherfucker out. One, two... Shrooms. As long as I don't spot my light, I'm fine. Ooh, gotta find a way through, though. That's a good butthole over there. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, I see him. Gotta take it slow. Take it easy, take a CC. Or a fun time, Bobo's case. Place filled to the brim with all kinds of shit. I didn't want to take that fucker out, but guess I'm not gonna do that.
Not sure why I went through all this trouble. Seem like there's anything to loot here. Sadly. Door is blocked, that's why. Standing zombie. Dead zombie. <laughs> Inventory, crafting, can make like one. Absolutely trash. Thing awake? No. This is going excellent. Not. This is going absolutely terrible. Ah, <sighs> look big, easy. <sighs> also, kind of running out of time. Playing this completely incorrectly either way. Not awake yet. <laughs> I think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around.
Oh, ho, ho. Epic weapons. How the fuck did you get in? I thought you guys couldn't go through those. Just because you think you already doesn't mean you actually. Filter. It's actually true. Have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. Rags, rags, rags. <clears throat> Still something to look at there, Fick. Nice. Looks like I struck gold. A bottle of risen glory cognac. And some cigars. Mm -hmm. Cuban, the bar says. GRE ports. What did I miss in here? Oh, here. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here. Gotta hurry, cause it's almost. Uh... Oh, this is where we started. Super sick. Whew. Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. Just kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? Was it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why'd you attack him? Huber was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. I can run, right? I count five corpses. Kill him and takes the goods. Yeah, hey guys, have fun. You're done. 
I know I saw a Denker here somewhere that I could throw. Oh, ow. Bitch. Looking for shit to throw at these guys. Where's the other fucker? You're kind of fucked. Hmm. It's becoming light. Great. your buddies, mate. Ah, uh, there's one. Did that hit? I can see now when they do charge attack, power attack, whatever. I really want to get rid of this weapon, it sucks. The heavy weapons are garbage in this game. Archer wrappings. Actually, seeing me though? Sort of. Is he even a he? Look at the motherfucking coming at me. No. Oh. I actually thought I was able to, like, just break his neck.
Quit dodging my shit, bitch. They did. Good for me, bad for them. Hey, Zillar. How you doing, buddy? Uh, where the fuck? Okay, this way. I'm okay. I'm doing Gucci. Shizen. I'm having a lot of fun with it. How's the leg? Uh, no better, but it'll heal eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay, the cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them? That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, d take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. How are you doing, Rox? Why'd you even get mixed up with low lives like that? Seemed reasonable enough at first. Uh, you're interested in helping for a small cut. Then they show up with this psycho class. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. I, I, I brought this all on myself. Don't tell Dodger, please. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I won't even think about doing it again. I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. Not too shabby, just taking a break from job searching and apartment hunting. How, uh, how's that, uh, going for you? <laughs> um, let's go do this one. They're both in fairly same areas.
There's one thing I don't like about this, and that's the fact that uh, there are split choices. But I'll live. But it does make the game a lot more interesting. Not well. That doesn't bode good, bode well, does it? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Great landing there, champ. When I'm moving in less than a month. Did you get kicked out of the apartment or something, Rox? And then luck finding apartments. What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Yes. Yeah, I'm alone. You better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Why are you still here? Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's Moving best out, and I can't afford to pay it no, for it on my own. I see. Well. I wouldn't say I'm all that well known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, wait what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Call him in, boys. Oh, that's great. Oh, I'm already dead, so that went 80 fucking quick. Hello? Damien sent me. Yeah. Are you interested or not? See, do I have any Molotovs? To crap? Nah, fuck. Almost had me. Ah, 
it's good, 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 good. Look, look, kill me. Thanks. That was not good. Not what I was waiting for. Not what I was waiting for. Should have seen that coming, I guess. No Molotovs, no nothing. Bunch of buttholes. Every day I'm shuffling. They really are a bunch of buttholes. Is that everyone? Hey, you, you, how, how did you die? Oh, you asshole, you set me up. What? No, 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 I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job, scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you sent... Others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. Your brother? I talk. Fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. I mean, I would. <laughs> I get it, but look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> Fine. Fine then. But you better pray that he knows something.
Hmm. He's not here. Open sesame. There's signs of Cliff here. Damn it! You don't think they... He's not... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge. Hey, you serious? You do that for me? Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. Not a chance. I know I didn't exactly make a good impression. Okay. Let's have a look. Where are they sending me? This way. Uh, I don't really want to start the next quest in the bazaar, but let's go that way. To the bazaar real quick, because I need to stock up and I need weapons that don't suck ass. Also got a buttload of cash anyways, might as well use it. And I might be able to upgrade some of my shit again. So that's the pilgrim. Don't look at A little. The worst thing was that can you hear yourself at all? The voice was from yourself. I can hear you. Okay, let's see. I can upgrade one of these. It doesn't increase the time it takes for me to apply it, though. I guess we're going for the immunity booster and then a Molotov upgrade, I guess. Crafting parts. Hephaestus, the MX, Dirty Cleaver, Hexaw. Give me this one. Uh, give me this one, not that one. Sell all the junk. Sell all valuables, just 4k. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Hexa. 
Hacksaw. Dirty Cleaver. These do look fucking dope, though. Um... Extra, extra. I can redeem these every single time over time, which is kind of chill. The reload machete. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just my imagination. How much? Let me bring the hacksaw, it looks dope. Damage phase humans. Gonna need that. Crafting Molotovs. Need alcohol and bolts. Just need alcohol, I guess. Can make one. Don't need that right now. Rags and alcohol. Apparently I can only buy three. Well, as they say, something's better than nothing. Okay, that's enough medicine. I do want to deliver that other quest. Maybe I get enough experience points for some... Uh, for skill or something. Ah, uh, here's the... Bratwurst. I found these filters for one. Okay, I'm not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg. So I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor. Or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the men. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God. But break your cannon's legs, just in case. Good and hard. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing me? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. You fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex, Setlex. The times we live in are ruthless. 
and the law. Poor Hubie. So too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Emil, how can you be so sure? Any idea how many people Hafast has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity kills the cat. The cat. Oh, I hope we get to kill this fucker. I saw the potential in you from the start, but I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. Oh yeah, we'll meet again. And when we meet again, you'll be regretting it, boy. You heard? Ah, and look, say. That was really crappy. Let's go help Cliff. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? more quests there's quite a lot to do in this game don't look a gifted mouth in horse in the mouth you already seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center okay that must be the dead diva quest line the axe Hephaestus 400 I mean it's max upgrade level I guess I'll take it
fuck are you attacking me, buddy? Why the fuck are you guys attacking me? Fuck is these guys bullshit? Damn biomarkers. They're like chains. Wish I could break free. Why are you just standing there? I don't know, I got my ass kicked by some idiots, almost at least. So I was more wondering like, are you my friend or enemy? Honestly, at this point, I don't give a shit anymore. Bunch of buttholes. City classified. <laughs> Scoopity boop a doop -a boop. Not a dark zone. It does look very abandoned here. Gotta keep leveling that combat skill. Even though I first need to get some uh, more HP before I can get anything new. should really loot them in case they have infected trophies. Keep forgetting about those. This is uh, not a very funny zone. You ask me. Way too many buttholes. Be able to clean these two out there.
could light them up, but that's just a waste of a uh, Molotov that I might need. It's another fairly big room here. Really need to remember to loot these guys. It's just annoying because you need those trophies. So many of them. See that these guys just heavily guarded their uh, upper floors. Like, if you want to get in, you gotta go through all these bastards. Hands. Technically, not have to. What I can tell. Oh, the guy is on the move. Then. Nice, a lot of alcohol. Didn't actually anticipate them spulling me though, this early on. Need to try and backstab them.
Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop. Damien sent me. How, how did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. Wait, so you're not... You're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff. What I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Who, me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. You tricked your brother to send innocent men to their deaths because you wanted to find me? Waltz can run it all down for you himself. Or rather, for what you've got from Dylan. Wait, Waltz? Where is he? Dunno. They haven't filled me in on all the details yet. Aiden? You there? Have you found Cliff? Yes, but you won't like it. Damien, bro. Unfortunately, now's not a good time to chat. And as for you, you finally found Dr. Waltz. Downside, he's found you. That's him, fellas. The one who took the Doc's toy. Cliff? Fuck! What? What are you saying? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. You can't handle this. Get ready for this, motherfuckers. Guys like fucking burning. Crap, I'm dead. Again. First time. One hope, okay. They did always say use your surroundings. Still more thugs. Listen here, you bunch of buttholes. I ain't got no time for yous. You see?
enjoy this. No, that was a charge. Wait, did they turn off? Cliff your butthole. And let me heal up. Turn to Damien. Madison. That was real. Cliffhanger. I don't know what you're talking about, Sep. What I do know is that I got fucking scumped over. Damien is all the way over there. <laughs> that dude you just killed. Was named fucking Cliff, you twat. I don't get it. You need to call your D names. <laughs> uh, not here, that's for sure. Got spoiled by the big boy. <sighs> I'm not in the mood for that right now. I'll come back. Sometimes I can't sleep because of the old. When you don't know what was the real ending, like what happened. Yeah, I know what a cliffhanger is, but I don't understand why you call it a cliffhanger. Okay, I give up. Sorry, Sep, I'm just not very good at uh, jokes. They often just fly right over my head.
Also, the damage in this game is absolute trash. There, I said it. Is there anything down here? Oh, look at all the loot locked behind there. It was a bad joke, but a joke nonetheless. <laughs> God damn it, Sep. It's getting dark in here, so take off all your clothes. Cause we don't need no, cause we don't need no clothes on. Barcode machete. in the tower any other way into the tower not really not by ordinary means people have tried to climb the wall but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground yeah, I'll give it a shot Well, I did climb the tower before, so I don't think it's going to be that hard. Just need to figure out where to go again. Oh yeah, somewhere around there. Hey, Damien! Get! Yeah. Oh. Did not know I could open this. Otherwise, I would have already reached this place ten times. Stop or I jump! Wait! Okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? I don't know. About life? Fuck you! That's what you're hung up on. That you're alive and so many aren't now because of you. Damien? I killed them. All of them. Look, man, it was a bad deal all around. You aren't evil. Okay, you were trying to save your brother. They backed you into a corner. But my brother is one person. One person. But I've killed so many. No. Sent them to be killed. You didn't kill them yourself. 
What choice did you have? Believe me, I've done plenty of bad in the name of good, and then just plain bad. But I'm not an evil person, and neither are you, Damien. I am. I could have found another way. But did I try? I can't close my eyes without seeing the face of every kid. I said, hey, you're new around here, too. They're all dead. And now so is my brother. Because of me. I can't take it anymore. Sure you can. You can prove how strong you really are. Live your life. And use each day to make it right. It's too much to fix. I can't. I, it can never be enough. I'm sorry, Aiden. Make room. I'm jumping with you. Are you crazy? Why not? We can go together. Now it's one more death added to your tab. Why would you? No, you would never. Try me. Jump. Go on. Jump. I'll be right behind. You ever hear that most jumpers change their minds midair? Uh, no. That's true. They're falling and think, oh, fuck. Maybe this actually wasn't the smartest thing I've done in my life. Soon my head's gonna smash open like a watermelon and I'll writhe around with no control over my arms and legs and beg for someone to finish me off. But nobody's gonna finish you off here, Damien. Except maybe the affected. They'll eat you foot to forehead, Damien. Slowly. I'm going. See you on the ground. Wait! Let's talk. About what? I... I, I don't know. About life? Maybe. Sure. But I guess I don't have a life anymore. All the guys that died, they died because... And quit being a broken record, will ya? You'll get over it. Now pull yourself the fuck together and back away from that ledge, or you really will fall. You feel bad about those deaths? That's great. It means you got a conscience. There's not many left in this town with a conscience, but you got one. And that's why you should live. To make up for what you did. There will always be time to jump. Tomorrow, day after, no rush. Look, I won't stop you, but keep this in mind. Like I said before, make it right. Keep living, at least till you make it right. So, how many deaths do you think you're responsible for? Don't make me say it, Aiden. Eight, maybe. Eight? Even better. Better? Yeah, because now you have to save eight lives. Deal? But... Gotta balance those scales, Damien. We Do we have deal? deal? Smart move. I better not regret this. You won't. I got a job for you. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> How about that? Damien's, Damien's got a sense of humor. Gallows humor, I guess. Yeah, it seems appropriate, all things considered. Aiden? Yeah? Thanks. No, no problem. problem. I saved your life, kid. I don't fuck it up, okay? Jesus, Damien. What's up with you? Were you about to jump? I was, but Aiden... What's with this? It's all my fault business. Talk to me. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother. All dead. Because of me. The man who took my brother. They forced me, but that's no excuse. I'm disgusting. I didn't want to live anymore. Oh, you'll live long enough to see justice served. Aiden, you stay out of this. Unless you want to be dangling next to Damien when they finally hang him. What do you mean, hang him? What do you mean, hang him? What do you mean, hang him? Dane? What is this for bullshit? Well...
It's done, it's done. I guess I should have interrupted it. Kinda weird, if anything. I was that supposed to know they were just gonna kill him off? Oh, nice. <laughs> what the fuck? This is skill that I want. No, we'll upgrade it sooner or later. Quickly take down unaware enemy. Acquires a knife. Throw a knife at another enemy after performing a stab. Nice. I don't even have... Head stomp enemies that lay on the ground, sick. <sighs> ground pound. Windmill. Guys, just call it a spin attack. Like it's like you're supposed to. You can start getting more health. And stamina. 260 stamina needed. 240 health to be able to use everything. The water tower. Activities and do that. THV Genomic Center. Birch Windmill. This one would be very good to complete, actually. Which is, I think this one has four. Gives me two options to upgrade. So many quests left. The insanity. What the fuck? I haven't even explored this area yet. Master windmill. Unknown location. I think I'm gonna clean out this area first. Not tomorrow, but Wednesday. Tomorrow I'm not home. I haven't explored this area yet. Still got quests here as well. Double time.
We'll slowly open everything up. Slowly, but surely. At least should be able to get this one done now, as well. I did not kill myself. <laughs> I think Yordi should have gotten the joke. You think? Really? Let's go talk to Sophie. Carl. This is madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men, they will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. You almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar. Not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this? Or leave? Roger, Humphrey. Arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother? You'll have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Carl is right. We don't stab a chance in open battle. Sophie! What the... Therefore... We're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UD lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ador gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory. Provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. You, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. Can't really agree to this new revolution. Revolution, revolution. Carl's journal number no. Vincenzo. I can't believe I gotta wait all the way to Monday until Wednesday to play again. This new armor of yours is flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Fielstein beat the shells of great protection. This is top craftsmanship made from the finest quality material. Built from. Uh oh, I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out, he's gonna blow. <laughs> titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter, and better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. <laughs> Titanium. Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Ah. As for you, those two oaks took the last Titanium vests! No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl, Sophie. You gonna share or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hmm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? After we blow it up, all the UD lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hmm? Old Villador will be free 
again. And you, you have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, the past chemical fallout and to, uh, uh, what's it called? The central loop? The central loop, right. How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Viridor. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. So, you win? No, fine. I'll do it. Okay. Go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joe tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. That'll give the PKs a surprise. Yari, yari, does he? Yordi's getting sleepy. That means it's time for Yordi to go to sleep. Sleep. <laughs> Not just in game, guys. Also in real life. <laughs> uh, IQ of over 9,000. That's what they say. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. Hope you all had a good time. I'm still loving this game. Uh, I wish I had more time to play. Or stream. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday. I won't be home at Tuesday on Tuesday, so we're not playing. We're not streaming. Wednesday I'll be back, then Thursday I won't be here either, and then I'll be back on Friday, which is going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! evening, and then we got the entire weekend again to play this game. So, uh, yeah, uh, oh well, maybe not Sunday, it's my grandma's birthday. <sighs> Maybe if I have enough food in house and do my dishes early, I'll start streaming earlier on Wednesday. We'll see. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening. Sleep well and have fantastic dreams. Good night, adios, and until the next time. <laughs>